Dwok Kiri. <clears throat> oh, the irony. COVID lockdown brain, this is for real. It's not what the youth say, that's for real. It's, it's legit. COVID lockdown brain, it's totes legit. And so the irony, or maybe this is fitting, I don't know. I, I know a guy who had a whole segment upon the use of the word ironic and the song that Alanis Morissette wrote about it. Refer to him, he'll tell you whether this is ironic or not. Because I don't know anymore because I have COVID lockdown brain. The days look the same. The things that really don't have to do with my day-to-day -day visuals like walls and floors and bed sheets, they also look the same because they are little Brady Bunch squares right in front of me. And even if I change my background, everyone else is pretty much a talking head with a COVID brain, COVID lockdown brain. I do know people who have had COVID and survived. Their brains don't seem to be quite as messed up. And I wonder if this is one of those cases where the dreading of something is worse than the thing itself. Not to minimize persons in immune compromise hypertension, the elderly, people who are somehow susceptible and get put on a ventilator. I'm, I'm in no way minimizing that. But the persons I know who have survived COVID are a lot more relaxed and able to function. They have much better executive function than I do. I don't even know if I'm making coherent sentences right now. I, I'm just going to sit here and, and, and contemplate the view that's what I'm going to do.